their planes getting ready to leave. Where are they? Maybe they decided not to go. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. It's about time for blast off. Oh, are you lads ready to fight your way through that mob? And when we're through this mob, there'll probably be another lot waiting at Johannesburg Airport. I certainly hope so. Ready when you are, boys. Up and at them. And it's every man for himself. Stampede! We're safe. Suppose we settle down to a rehearsal. Girls, how about our sandwiches? We're hungry. Come on, Paul. We'll eat while we rehearse. Eat while we sing. Yeah, that ought to be an interesting experiment. We might come up with a brand new sound. <laughs> All right, now let's start with not a second time. Are you ready? We've never been ready. It's the clipper. The clipper. Oh. And Fanny's a painter. There's only one escape. Do we dare? Do we dare not? Let's go. Well, here you are, peace and quiet. You call this a quiet spot? It's all jungle. Should suit you boys fine. You chaps do have a reputation of being tigers, you know. <laughs> oh, I say, that is a good one, isn't it? Jungle tigers, get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I want it. Now, we've got to get through this number. We're only hours away from the show. I can't imagine anyone disturbing us here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't worry about those crocs. They're music lovers. Yeah, well, I hope they're not critics. All right, let's get to it, shall we? We don't have much time left. Oops. Judging by their teeth, I'd say we have no time left. Come off it, George. Just think of them as ladies' handbags and they're not so frightening. <laughs> yeah. Well, crocs or no crocs, we've got to get through this number at least once before the show. You ready? We've never been ready. Again? Please, Paul. Honestly, we'll be good. Oh, John, wait. Ringo, George. Well, I think we finally lost them. Should we have a go at that rehearsal? Shh. Uh, now, you girls fooled us with those costumes once before. What makes you think you can do it again? Ready when you are, John. Well, I think that number's in pretty good shape. All right, girls. You can take off those silly costumes. What costumes? <laughs> Look, he's biting off a lock of Paul's hair, like a clipper would. Look, that one is fainting, like Fanny does. <laughs> And that other one is screaming like that screamer. Well, I guess crocodiles are much like people, aren't they? No telling where this might end. I'd say it ends right about here. <laughs>